Hello everybody, Habibi here. I'm back again on this airplane tutorial. This is my airplane and I in this tutorial I will add wing flap to this airplane like this one. You see, I have wing flaps here. And let's fly the airplane. So in this tutorial, you will see how I add this wing wing flaps and how do I code it. So stay tuned and watch it even even it is somehow boring for you. All right. Hi everybody, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to add wing flaps to this airplane. If you don't know what wing what the wing flaps is, check out this image. Wing flap is something like this in the airplane wings to control the rotation of the airplane. Yeah, the I don't know the <laughs> exact terms of the aviation thingy. So what I know is something like this in airplane. So I want to add this thing to my airplane object here. Okay, so here is my air airplane prefab. Let me go inside it here, and I will add a f oh, first wing flap here on the left side of the wing. Here I create an empty object, and I place and I place it here. and I name it wing flap left I add a cube inside it I size it here like this just to make it visible All right, I think it's fine, and I place it here. Okay. Okay. So let's go edit this script, our script to an airplane script. Here we are going to type public game object variable public game object left wing flap and then let's go back to unity go to the scene here we can see the slot for the left wing flap we we drop let's drag and drop the wing flap left here on this slot and then go back to our script we continue to edit it we continue editing it go to the A button which is this one this is for the A button on our keyboard or rotate light let's press enter here then here what we do is wing flap we are, we are going to rotate the wing flap wing flap left left wing flap okay where is it left wing flap dot uh, transform dot rotate we are going to rotate it on x axis you see this wing flap here the red one here is the x axis so we are going to rotate it this way okay to rotate it on x axis here we 
probably we add 2 float as the value for the x and 0 for the y and 0 for the z so let's test the uh, rotation here play the game <coughs> let's press a button it is rotating but we are go we are not happy if it is rotating always rotating like this so what, what we can do is to claim to clamp its rotation to only rotate maximum angle of this uh, this angle so let's go back to the script and here here where is the yeah it is here here we adjust the local Euler angles of the left wing flap so we copy this part and this one we type local Euler angles equals to new factor 3 here let's say 0 0 and 0 here we do the clamp rotation we, we are going to clamp the rotation of x-axis rotation of this wing flap so what we can do is ta to type math function math f dot clamp here we copy the entire uh, words here and we add dot x and then here is the this two is the clamped value minimum and maximum value so let's say we are going to limit it to for minus 45 degree and maximum 45 degree and then we can go back and hit the play button okay I I missed the H math F and let's go back to the scene and let's play it press the A button okay as you can see the the flap is rotating and it is limited to that angle but if we uh, lift our finger from a button it stucks there what we need is to make it come back to the initial position so what we can do is to go back to the script and here we do the else statement if if input get key key code a is true or rotate rotate right is less than zero we do these things and else if it's not if if they are not true we rotate back the left wing flap to the initial position position <coughs> here we we are inside this else else statement we are going to do another if statement if uh, left wing flap dot local dot transform dot local transform form local local rotation I'm sorry local rotation dot x is more than zero we should go we should bring it back so we copy this part and paste it here and invert it by adding this minus symbol so we are going to rotate it back to the first rot first position or rotation so let's test the game <coughs> let's press a button it's rotating that way and if we uh, lift 
our finger it will go back yeah that is exactly exactly what I want and what what about the downward rotation let's fly it we are going to do the opposite rotation this way so I think the speed is too slow I need to increase it maybe 5 float five float and here we need to also change it to five let me test it again yeah I think it's nice okay next is to do the inverted rotation the that way rotation so to do that we just need to do the same thing we copy entire thing here and paste it here on the D on the D keyboard button which is this one we paste it here and here we just Uh, we just invert it by adding this minus symbol dash symbol and we do else here else then we copy this part paste it here and here we do the opposite things to everything okay let's check play the game I press A button I release it and I press D button oops yeah we did uh, some mistake so here if we press press D button if we press D button it should rotate it uh, downward here we found a conflict between this block and this uh, in th between this code and this code okay uh, if we are not pressing a button the left wing flap is uh, is keeping it on the zero value of x rotation while we are we need it to rotate by pressing the, this D button so what we can do is probably we can add another thing here if left wing flop and or here let's just make another if statement if we copy this part and we make it we add this symbol here and let's check if it is working let's press A button release it and press D button ok not that one ok let me undo that just click pressing this and to do testing let's just comment this lines on the f on the a button and let's just see what we have here in the D button press play now if I press a button it won't it won't do anything and if I press the button so the problem is on our 
on our D button so we need to fix the D button here what do we have here let's just comment this part first maybe the problem is with this line so this we don't have problem with these lines and comment them and we can check and test the game A button release and D button so problem is not with this line problem is with this line and I don't know why why is it wrong let me comment this part check again let's just directly press D button D button is fine yeah so the, the rotation is fine it is rotating that way so the problem is the clamp is the clamping A and D so the problem is the clamping of this D button rotation okay and let's fix it here we have Langwing flap that transform local difficulty all right guys I think this uh, clam this clam method here is uh, somehow it sucks let's let's delete the clamping method here let's not clamp the rotation this way and instead here for testing purpose I will I'm going to debug dot lock the value of Euler angel Euler angels dot X of this left wing flap left wing flap dot transform dot local Euler angles dot X and let me go back to unity and click play button I will see the wing here it is the wing and right now the value of local Euler angels dot X of this wing is zero here it is zero and what if I rotate it this way and let me just comment this line first for testing purpose let me comment this left wing flap and also this one let me go back and play the button click the play button and if I rotate this wing flap this way the value of local Euler angels dot X is this and let me exactly rotate it exactly 45 degrees here what is the value here it is 45 but the problem is if the value is negative 45 here previously I thought the value of local Euler angels dot X is also negative 45 but in fact it is not negative 45 
but instead it is 315 so it's somehow confusing so instead of doing the clamping rotation uh, the way that we did let's use another method so let's take a note of this value 315 315 what we can do is here we clamp the rotation by if statement simply by using if statement if the left wing flap dot transform dot local Euler angles dot x is uh, less than 45 then we rotate it that way let's test this test them one by one here I press a button and now it is clamped on this 45 degree let me try it again I press a button and it is stuck here on the 45 and the value here are also 45 and do uncomment this line here if I release the A button it should go back to the initial rotation let me replay it again you check this one if I press a button it will stuck here on the f on the 45 I'm still pressing it the a button if I release it it should go back but this time it is not on exactly on zero rotation here and here the worst thing the value of the local Euler angels dot X of this wing flap is now 355 and by that we cannot press again the A button I'm pressing the A button and it is not rotating because it is 355 if you check the code here uh, here I mean here we only can uh, flip the wing flap upside we can rotate it up upside when if when it is less than when the value of local Euler angles dot x is less than 45 while that value was 355 so we cannot rotate it so to fix it we need to add something here we need to add we need to copy this uh, code and before that we before we paste it we add or or uh, this local yield angels is more than more than what more than this value 255 or let me just uh, set it to f let me just add 180 it is a trick I don't know what is the correct way to do this just let me try it and if the value is less than 45 or more than 180 just rotate it on the X on the X axis that way 
and let's let's try it again here I press A and I release it and I press A again okay now it is working the next thing is doing the D button D button is working it is rotating but let's let's continue for the D button we just need to do the same thing as this one let me copy this uh, code and delete the previous one paste it here and this one instead this one we need to change the if statement here we still going to rotate it on the negative value and for this one we need to for the, the condition let let me go back to my unity editor before that I need to comment this line first because I'm going to do another testing okay and let's go back and click play again this one this time I need to rotate it this way so this value if it is minus 45 the value is 315 so here I will let me comment this one also here the value should be more if x more than 315 or or what or it is let me rotate it here or it is just slightly okay or it is less than 360 so here the value I will invert it to less less than 360 then what we do well, we are going to rotate it on the negative value and now let's uncomment all the codes this one also this one uncommon everything and let's test the game again press A release it press D it still has this problem let me check it again and I think the problem is it should not be 360 it should be 180 just as before but this one it should be less than 180 press uh, ctrl s to save it and here play the game again I press A and now D now it is working as I expected alright after us uh, af after all of these problems we finally got this uh, left wing flap working and I will add another wing flap for the right side and there is also tail tail flap then I think I can I will do that uh, without recording uh, the process but for the right wing flap let me just do it uh, very quick so here I'm going to go to inside this uh, prefab I will duplicate this wing flap and this one will be the right one I place the the X value here I just I will remove the negative sign to place it here and then I go back to my scene open the scene we do the same thing as before 
this one we duplicate the public game object this one we type right right wing flat and then we we do the same thing here we duplicate this one and we do the opposite thing here we type right wing flap let's copy the name and paste it here we also do the same thing here for the left for this one and we also need to invert the values also but let's let's test let's test it uh, first here if i play the game if i press s oh i did not uh, drag and drop the right wing flap wing flap right here and play it you see that the rotation is same but this is not the case for this button it, it is not be it should not be like that it should be inverted so this this thing is correct for the for the up and down button for this one but not correct for this one okay let's ju let's just continue let's just continue and we will fix it later we paste it here no we duplicated it we duplicate this uh, two lines here and we also duplicate this one and we rename the wing flap wing flap and let's remove this debug lock line okay let's play it all right we forgot to replace some it should not right it should be left for this one and yeah yeah i forgot this one to replace the all right let's play it again okay a and d buttons are working but as i said it should be for this button not for this one but that's fine and we are going to fix it by doing we can just copy these lines when we paste it for the W and S buttons let's paste it here for the S button and for the else of this if statement we will also paste these lines here and then we copy these lines and paste it for the w button which is this one and then we add the else statement and here we copy and paste these lines 
we paste it here now it should uh, it should be working for the up and down button for this one all right okay guys we messed up with the if and else statements here here let me remove this part let me just control x to cut it and we will paste it uh, somewhere next next time and let me delete this we will i will paste it yeah uh, here here and then I copy these lines C control X and let's delete this else and we also delete this else and then here we also delete this one and we messed up with that so we need to fix it so here uh, instead of also uh, instead of if we need to add else here else if here also else if and here else if also this one else if else if and here finally all only else then we paste the uh, we paste that if statements here and what's next the next is to the next thing is to test the game play it and press A button S now I press W button and S uh, W S A and add N D okay now for the up and down button this one everything is fine everything is correct what we need to fix is this left and right rotation the left and right rotation is not correct because if we press left button which is a it should be uh, the airplane should be rotating this this way the wing flap should be this way I think no it it is for D button for right rotation you know what I mean lah and let's control Z and so to do that we need to invert things here so for the rotate left we rotate the we will invert it to negative here and I think we also need to invert these symbols to more and this one for less for this is for the for the A button for the left rotation let's test it again press A it is correct but but the clamping is not correct so we need to fix the clamping what if we just press ctrl Z to undo and let me press the A button 
okay the clamping is this way so the clamping for the clamping what we can do for this right wing flap here we need to follow what we had here no 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 we need to follow what we have here 360 350 let me paste it 350 here and put back the inverted less more symbols here and let's check test it again okay it is working this for left but uh, yeah what about D we need to fix the D button so to fix the D button here on the rotate uh, rotate right we have this one here we need to invert it to less and also this one we convert it to more and here we should use this 45 value and this we, we use positive value and let's play it again all right everything is working left right and up and down and let's fly the airplane okay I think that's all for this wing flap and there will be still more work for our tail I don't know is it tail flap we need to do that one we need to do that one too but I think uh, I did record too long video for this for this one Alright, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.